Yep, you sure are one gigantic thing. Just one back here. Anyways, hello everybody, welcome back for more Let's Play Half Life. I'm Hunter, the one who's there for a polar bear. And in the last part, we entered the testing chamber. That's nothing similar to anything in Portal. These are completely different testing chambers. And uh, we're going to do something with this machine. Stick a sample in. Testing. That. Testing. <coughs> Everything seems to be in order. Yes, it does. All right, Gordon. Your suit should keep you comfortable through all this. The specimen will be delivered to you in a few moments. If you would be so good as to climb up and start the rotors, we can bring the anti-mass spectrometer to 80% and hold it there until the carrier arrives. Alright, there we go. Start these things spinning. So, yeah, if you weren't able to tell, the time period this takes place in is the time this game was made, so early 2000s. Essentially, Aperture has been working on portal technology for cool. years. So we'll they're take they're it just from getting here. started. Power to stage one emitters in three, two, one. I'm seeing predictable phase arrays. But the difference between Aperture's portals and uh, Mesa's portals is that these are portals into other dimensions. Stage two emitters activating now. Again, I'm not sure whose portal technology is ahead. cannot predict how long the system can operate at this level, nor how long the reading will take. Please, work as quickly as you can. I think, well, actually somebody would climb the to uh, one oh five percent Yeah, I'm uh, not... It's probably not a problem. Probably, but I'm showing a small discrepancy in... Well, no, it's well within acceptance. Sustaining sequence. No, that's I've a just really been informed a good that the sample is ready, Gordon. It should be coming up to you any moment. Look to the delivery system for your specimen. Alright. And there it is. Action gets started once you stick this thing in. So, yeah, I'm not sure if Black Mesa's and Aperture's portal research is any different. I think it might be, but I'm not sure who's ahead in the quote unquote race. That they're going through, they've been going through for like. Standard insertion for a non standard specimen. Go ahead, Gordon. Slot the carrier into the analysis port. Alright, alright, alright. But, yeah. So I'm not sure who's. What is he doing in there? Nothing you need to worry about, Gordon. <laughs> Go ahead. Alright, alright, alright. In it goes. But yeah, port of research, somebody post a comment about it. Yeah, Gordon. Jesus! Gordon! Get away from the. Shutting down. No! Jesus! It's not. Uh -oh. It's not. It's not shutting down. It's, it's not. Oh my God! Jesus! I just got blown up. But whoa, whoa! What's going on? Lady bolts? What is that? What was that? What, what was that? What, what is? What is going on here? Oh my God! Flashlight. Why you no work? Yeah. Jesus. Okay. Jake. What the fuck? Where's the... Where the hell am I? What? Oh, now it's. Who the hell are you? What the hell are you? Actually, I know who they are. Another gone. Okay, um, yeah, so the place just blew up, and now the game's gonna get started for reals now. This is gonna take us along with some other games. Part three, part three, we're in three parts, and oh my good gravy god, there's a dead scientist on the floor. Oh, it works, barely. Um, Go, go, go. Oh, Jesus. Is he okay? He's kind of dead. Oh, uh, and another dead black scientist. They do. Wait, are those gonna do anything if I. S uh, they're just spinning thingies. Nothing! It 
which I, I should point out that this game tries to have a lot more atmosphere than Half-Life 2 does. It sort of works. Most of the time, there's a lot of jump scares, and there were. If you if you thought some parts of Half-Life 2 were kind of scary, then yeah, even for this game, they are still a little bit scary. Then again, I've only played this whole one time, so I can't really say much about it. Um, there we go. Oh yes, this way. Right. Yeah. Yep. This way. All right. Elevator. Up you go. Okay. Yeah. Okay. Hey. I should probably get into what those things are later, but I well won't Why get to them. Didn't they listen? We tried to warn them. I never thought I'd see a resonance cascade, let alone create one. Gordon, you're alive. Thank God for that hazard suit. I'm afraid no. to move him and all our phones are out. Please really? get to the surface as soon as you can and let someone know we're stranded down here. You'll need me to activate the retinal scanners. I'm sure the rest of the science team will gladly help you. Okay. So, wait. This is like... No, like, like unlike... It appears Avatar, the containment system has completely failed. You know, you probably should have that... What the fuck? Okay. I'm pretty sure everybody knows what these things are, right? Ah! Yeah, th well, that didn't scare me. I just did that for Play Valley, but... These are head crabs, also known as head humpers. Luckily, they're not going to escape because they're trapped inside their little cagey wages. Tell me this. Access denied. Uh, I know there's a. W okay, you know, wait. Hey, shut up. I certainly hope you know what you're doing. So yeah, if you shut up. Wait, are you not gonna? Okay, good, you are. So yeah. You're going to need to get a scientist over here in order to open the store. Otherwise, you can't get in there. But that's his only purpose after that. He's basically dead, maybe. Because, um... Well... The thing will start to zap! And attempt to kill you! And then we run like a bolt of lightning! Go, 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 go! Hope that guy... Hope that guy is staying there, because, um... Yeah, it's kind of death, 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 de death, 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 death. I don't have weapon. Okay. Okay. You are a head crab that I cannot kill. So yeah, what they'll try to do is get on top of your head and try to eat your brains. And you don't want that laser bam. Laser beam, laser beam, laser beam. Hit by the laser beam because it is deadly. Jesus God, there is another one. I oh, yeah, there's so many of these damn things. Run, run, run. Runny, run, run. Here is a crowbar. Now we can kill things. Yay, killing things. That thing's gonna explode. Oh no, that is. Jesus! This game really is not afraid of killing people. Like, at all. And it's not afraid to show the aftermath of it either. As you can tell. Maintenance access, goody old ladder. We need this ladder. Wait. Head crap zombie! Man, am I glad to see you. What the hell are these things? And why are they wearing science team uniforms? Because they beat the brains like a scientist and he got like dead. That's what that was close. You shot me, you a-hole! What do you want? Jerk! Ooh, I got a gun. Sweet! That's what you get for shooting me. Yuck. Alright. So now, well, actually, when do we get an actual gun? Well, we're, we're meant to get a gun, I mean. I think up here somewhere, or whatever. Stop, we got a gun. Kill these things. Actually, let's use the crowbar for safety. Now, why did I waste that bullet? Oh yeah, and you're going to need to conserve as much ammo as you can because this is kind of like a survival horror game when you're going to need to conserve ammo as much as you can. Jesus God. Also, I think these things um, sort of can stay. Yeah, you did. They give you health. So if you find a pot machine, 
like, you don't have a health kit nearby, of course you can do one. And unless you blow the damn thing up. Well, that's new. Um, we can do the same to this one. Okay, I didn't know about that can thing. That's interesting. Uh, okay. How long have I been recording for? I, I have no idea. When, when did I... When did I start? You know what? I'm gonna start timing myself in the next episode starting in, but... For now, just give me a moment. Okay, apparently long enough for a full video. I'm good with that. So, anyways, next time on Let's Play Half-Life, we're going to... Um do something, preferably find a way to get out of here as well as get some more ammo back at the locker room, and yeah, we're gonna do that. So until then, see you later, and goodbye. God help us now.